Hi everyone, hope you're well. Today I'm going to make a video that I have been promising for weeks now and it's the video about how to package your art prints. When I started editing and I obviously started selling my prints, I couldn't find any information anywhere. I'm making this video to help everyone who is just starting out and to help you figure out the packaging for prints because I know to some people it might be really simple and no-brainer but to me it was like how do I do this um, and I used to I think I told this story in my um, some of my previous videos but when I first started selling and actually my first sale uh, I actually uh, packaged it in the folder um, envelopes that you keep from filing I actually packaged my prints in that I know, it's really bad. <laughs> but I had no idea, literally, I had no idea how to package them. So I am going to show you everything that you need to get you started. And I'll go through everything. I'll go through, and these are the things that will help you. So package your prints, um, sell them, and also it will prevent damage in the post. And, you know, because that was the main issues that I was having. I was like, my prints, People kept messaging me, it's like, oh, the print got damaged in the post, blah, blah. So I had to figure out the way, and I bought different packaging and tried to work it out. It's what's the best way and the most cost-effective way. So, I'm also going to put everything in the link below of all the things and where I buy them and stuff. So it will be easy for you to order. But obviously, you can use anything you want and order from wherever you want. But um, these are some of the cheap things that I have found online. So the first thing you need is your prints and I keep all my prints in this little beautiful box which I bought from TK Maxx, it's quite heavy actually because it has loads of prints in it. And here I keep all my prints, so I'll use this one as an example, uh, this is the recent print I did and it's beautiful, I love it, it's pink, it screams spring and it has a rainbow, it's beautiful. I want to offer the best quality prints to all my customers. So I uh, don't think that's feasible for me to do it from home, so I get them professionally printed and this is what they look like. And they're really, really good quality and the paper thickness is really good. So it's easy for people to frame and it will last them a, lot, a lifetime, so they're really good. I can also show you this one, which is also the latest one that I did with poppies. It's beautiful, I love this one. This two are probably my favourite. So those are the prints, so obviously you need to have prints done um, and I will make a separate video of how to get your prints printed, how do they find the local printers, how do they go around the choosing the paper quality, the print quality, uh, the sizing and all sorts of things, so I'll make a separate video about that. So once you have that, what you will need is this cardboard, A4 cardboard um, thingies. Uh, I order this from Etty, from another Etty seller which I will put her link down below. Her name is Susie, if I'm not mistaken. And she's lovely and she does really fast delivery and you know, you can buy loads from her. So um, she does all sorts of different packaging so you should definitely check her um, shop out. But I buy this from her and uh, they're really sturdy and they just protect the prints. So you need that and you also need this A4 um, envelopes type of thing. So if I take one, I'm hoping you will be able to see that. Maybe I should... So what I do is, once you have these two, you put this cardboard into this plastic envelope. Like that. So hopefully you will be able to see that. And on top, if you see here, you can you have the little um, thingy that you have to take off and then it sticks. So it looks like that. I'll show you. So if I put one of these prints here, this is what I do, package them all nicely so it fits exactly perfect and then all I do is stick this up, right, <laughs> and then just stick it to the back. And look, that looks professional, that looks something that you will buy in the shop. This cardboard protects the print, also the plastic sleeve protects the print from getting you know, fingerprints or anything on it. Um, so it's really, really good um, to, way to package the prints. And I think most people do it this way. So that's what I do. The third thing you did, which or you need, which is quite important, is um, 
envelopes that you want to send in. So I buy these envelopes from Amazon and also the plastic sleeves I buy them from Amazon and I'll put the link down below from where I purchased them and stuff. And I also buy these envelopes, uh, about 100 of these at the time. And they say, please don't bend. Uh, please do not bend, which is really, really important because Postman, as much as I love you for delivering all my stuff to wonderful people around the world, you do bend things. And um, so just having this really helps um, them know that it's something that's easily be bendable and do not bend it. So that's really good. And also another thing that's really good about these ones is they have another thick cardboard at the back. So this is a double protection of your print. So this will not damage, um, this will not allow for your print to get damaged. It will be quite hard. You will have to really try to bend it for you to damage the print. So that's a third thing you need. And I tried different ones, I tried really thick ones and stuff, but I think these ones work really well. I don't get any more complaints about putting getting damaged in the post. And also they're the most cost effective ones that I found. So I get that, so you have you have your own print. And then all you need is some sort of um, thank you um, card that you put inside with your prints. Now my thank you says thank you so much for your order, I really appreciate it and I give them a 20% discount code if they order another one in the near future. But what I decided to do and which I think is really nice is print one of my prints on the back. So um, this is A5 size so people could frame this if they wanted so essentially when people buy a print from me they now get a second print for free and I keep changing the pictures like um, whenever I run out of these I will put the link where I got this printed they're really really cheap but they're really good quality as well and a really good thickness so if anyone is going to frame this it will look really good and it will look like an actual print so I love I believe in giving and receiving so which is why I always like to give um, back to my clients so that is all literally you need, things that you need really to get you started. I hope this video is really helpful to everyone who's starting out. Good luck if you are. Please subscribe to this channel if you'd like to find out more how to sell online and all the tips and tricks. I am going to do loads more videos. I have loads of um, things, um, exciting videos planned for you guys. And yeah, so I'll see you in the next one and take care. Bye.